Review in the Teacher and Curriculum, Part 1 Types of Curriculum Official Curriculum State-sponsored National Policy Set for Mandatory Compliance Recommended Curriculum Suggested and Advocate for by Curriculum Expert and or Professional Organizations Thought curriculum, what is actually delivered by the teacher. Learned curriculum, what is actually understood, learned, and otherwise absorbed by the students. Support curriculum, tangible materials such as learning modules, textbooks, ebooks, computers, and other gadgets that aid in the implementation of the curriculum. Sixth, written curriculum, school, district, and or division documents. Hidden curriculum, kinds of curriculum which is unintended and not within the intention of the institution. The teacher as curricularist. Planner. The teacher plans, and these documents serve as guides in its implementation. Writer. The teacher writes, curriculum plans, supportive instructional materials, and assessment in accordance with curriculum plans and standard. Knower. The teacher must be knowledgeable about the subject matter. Initiator. The teacher implements the curriculum with the full belief that curriculum he or she is initiating will enhance learning. Innovator. The teacher makes adaptation in the curriculum whenever he or she sees fit and appropriate. Implementer. The teacher gives life to the curriculum. The implementation of the curriculum showcases the teacher's facilitating and managing skills. Evaluator. The teacher evaluates whether curriculum achieves the intended outcomes. Characteristic of a good curriculum. Adaptive. It must cater to the specific and current needs of every learner but must also be resilient to change. Collaborative. A good curriculum is a product of various minds as it caters to, the, to a variety of learning styles and intelligences. High quality. Its conceptualization, design, and implementation must undergo rigorous processes that are endorsed by curriculum expert and are validated by curriculum implementers. Relevant. A good curriculum is up-to-date and is tailored to suit the current demands of learning. Responsive. A good curriculum is built on its projected social values. It must address specific social needs including answering to problems that have yet to be asked or identified. Components of curriculum. Objectives. Desired outcomes of learning. Learning experiences. Interaction between and among teachers and students where learning transpire. Content subject matter. Evaluation. Judging the quality and effectiveness of the curriculum. Cognitive Domain by Benjamin Bloom. Knowledge, recalling information. Comprehension, deriving meaning from recalled information. Application, utilizing the information. Analysis, breaking down information for easier understanding. Synthesis, putting information together, evaluation, judging and critiquing information. Revised Cognitive Domain 
Levels by Lorraine Anderson and David Crathwell. Remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, creating. Active, Affective Domain Levels by David Crathwell. Receiving, being aware of something in the environment. Responding, exhibiting behavior based on experience. Valuing, showing commitment or involvement. Organization, integrating new values in one's value system. Characterization, consistently practicing new value. Psychomotor Domain Levels by Anita Harrow. Reflex Movements, Responding Instinctively. Fundamental Movements, Performing Basic Tasks. Perceptual Abilities, Responding to Stimuli. Physical Abilities, Displaying Endurance, Stamina, Agility, Strength. Skilled Movements, Displaying Advanced Physical Movements. Non-discursive communication using physical non-verbal. Psychomotor domain levels by R.H. Dave. Imitation, observing and imitating action. Manipulation, performing skills with guidance. Precision, performing skills independently. Articulation, Modifying skills to suit preference. Naturalization, performing skills in an automatic, precise manner. Psychomotor domain levels by Elizabeth Simpson. Perception, using senses to guide physical activities. Set, readiness to execute physical activities. Guided response, imitating physical activity. Mechanism, performing parts of complex physical activity. Complex overt response, performing complete physical activity. Adaptation, modifying physical activity to suit preferences. Origination, developing original physical activity. That's the end of our review in the teacher and curriculum Part 1